So here we are in uh, on a rail, in on in a rail, in a rail on. And uh, yeah, so we previously escaped this horrible facility to the surface after an absolute disaster. We then found that the surface world was just kind of too much, a little bit too busy, you know, a little bit overstimulating. So we retreated back here down into the tunnels in order to make a new life for ourselves as some kind of mole man. I think I've already looted everything around here. Yep, I think we're good. Which means it's time to live out my childhood dream of becoming a train driver. I mean, it kind of sucks for that guy as we just slowly approach. Is he alive? Is he dead? Is he going to bleed out slowly if we- oh, well, I guess that's that. So there's two paths we could take here. I think they both go to the same place and we've already uh, zoomed around this area pretty, pretty thoroughly. So I don't think there's anything else to find and these do just link right back up on the other side. I think you might take damage if you forget to- oh, that ain't supposed to be happening. What is that, a BSD error? That's bizarre. Does it only happen when I'm on the train? Ooh, ooh, that's trippy. Okay, well let's try and take the other route and see if we can successfully train the train to do this. Ironically, I was not very well trained as a conductor. Or indeed as a marksman. Oh, I can't spin this. Let me know, by the way, if the volume is too loud. Because if it is, I will turn it down. Or alternatively, if I should turn my microphone gain up. Let's see if we can make it this time. Okay, there's definitely something wrong here. Can I just smash this? Because I think it's probably something to do with this. Oh, well, if you're enjoying this one, you should go check out the... I bet I can't break it. You should go check out the VODs, because I was on top form, I'm informed, by everybody who's told me the things that they tell me. This... Okay, so for once, I should actually be right about this being a safe distance. Yeah, okay, I can't break that. It... Okay, well, I'm definitely turning it down a bit then. Where is the options? Time to fiddle with options while live on air. You'd think that I would sort this out in advance. There we go. Right. Yeah, well, as you said, there are a few bugs in the uh, in the port. Is that, is that a, a port to... Ooh, trippy. Yeah, no, that's not going to go. I'm going to have to continue on foot. Which shouldn't be difficult unless I keep treading on the rail and electrocuting myself. I mean, I was only ever warned not to touch the third rail, and as you can see, there's only one here, so... I suppose... Oh, hi, Lisa. I suppose that the logic would hold that I can basically do whatever the fuck I like. I do appreciate that the game is designed well enough that it doesn't break if you decide not to take the uh, take the train with you. A lot, of, um, a lot of games this heavily scripted will tend to break in those instances. Is this... Is this- is this me? Did I do this? Is this... Is this my spore? Oh, also, I completely forgot to say, hi, I'm Self-Critical Automaton. I play video games a lot because I'm a robot who doesn't know how to do anything else. I see, I love the train, but that's probably because the last time I played this it didn't break at all. I think it's delightful. I love this little light railway. It reminds me of the secret train they have under Congress, which is this tiny little putt-putt railway they have going on. Uh, so that congressmen don't have to walk using their pathetic meat legs. That's where we came from. I think. Yes, that's where we came from. I've gotten turned around just like would happen if I was really exploring underground train tunnels. Oh, you would not believe how many people I've killed. Just, um... And in the game. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> no, I have not covered myself with glory so far while I've been playing this. This super looks like a trap. Whoa. I think I, I think I got them. I love some of the glitches that can happen when you trip back and forwards through a uh, a level a level change trigger. <laughs> Guys just hopping up and reappearing and dropping again. 
The absolute cream of the United States military, ladies and gentlemen. This dipshit walking directly into light machine gun. Well, it's not walking directly into a hail of nine millimeter bullets. Let's say. I do say that you should never step into an uncleared room. And now we know why. Mind you, we've done that plenty of times and got electrocuted for our trouble. Time to zoom. Oh, there we go. You know what I feel like? I feel shotgunny. Nice enclosed space. Is that a guy? That is a guy, but it's a good guy. It's it's one of our guys. It's one of the one of the rowdy. Fuck you. Well, this room sucks shit. <laughs> Oh, balls. Okay. Well, I guess I've learned my lesson, which is be more fucking careful. Where's the guy? There was, an there was another guy previously. So that probably would not have happened if I had not been so careless as to step on the electric rail multiple times, thereby proving that even though scientists are scientists, they aren't necessarily beholden to, for example, um, such simple conditioning as the Pavlovian response. I see a guy. I'm gonna wait for him to- there we go. <laughs> I love the uh, I love the appropriately positioned ichor that splatters all over everything as I perform my- I mean this is self-defense so it's not really a murder and also, also, now I know I've made a lot of grenade mistakes in the past, I suspect that this is about to be whatever the opposite of a mistake is. I don't believe I've made the opposite of a mistake previously so I'm not entirely sure what to call it. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be these guys. Anybody else? Anybody else got any ceiling arguments that you feel like expressing? Nope, I think we're good. And there it is, folks, the first successful grenade throw <laughs> of this entire series. It only took us three streams to get here, but for once I didn't do crimes with it. I do actually love that it lets you have the it lets you have the cans, but I want them. Give me, give me the cans. As we established on the um, Super Luminal streams, there is nothing more important in a video game than securing soda and maintaining its presence in your life throughout the stressful experiences you have during a video game. Jesus Christ! I think I missed him. Can I push this forwards? Nope. Oh wait, does it really give me a hit point? I can't- I can't take it. How do I- Oh my god, you're right. Okay, this- this changes the game, folks. This is it. This is... A true work of genius. Oh my god. I love that the- I love that the buttons actually click in. It's a really- it's a really nice detail. Doesn't look like I'm- oh, I am getting some more fantastic- I'm just gonna sit here, I'm just gonna do this. Congratulations, the next 20 minutes of this stream is gonna be me drinking soda. And I do low-key hate that the American cultural hegemony has rendered it soda in my mind, rather than the much more traditionally British fizzy drink. Because, you know, we can't not be fucking quirky and colloquial in England. We have to be twee delightful. Anyway, that's getting boring, so I'm gonna go do something else. Now... If I... Do you reckon I can get that in there? Do you reckon I can catch the guy? Ow. I think he's still alive. Alright, well, time to commit what's not technically a crime. Hey! Hey, could you do me a- oh shit. Are you good? Are you alright? I kind of want him alive, but I also don't want him to shoot me. <laughs> Anyway, so, as I was saying, can you do me? What's that stench? No? Okay, cool. Let's go. So, I've got some, um... I've got a guy I need you to stand in front of and wave your gun around while I sneak around. Are you good for that? Are we... Is this a plan? Are we good? Okay, I'll cover you. Fantastic. Okay. Were those bullets going through the tiny gap? Oh shit, they were. Come stand, come stand in the way where he can see you. Oh, I see how it is. You're, <laughs> you're on his side. You're working with him. Okay, I can't turn my back on him, I'll say, as I immediately turn around, turning my back on him again. 
Missed him again. Well, he's clearly not... Wait, shit, where did he go? There he is. Gotta go, gotta go. Ah, fuck. There we go. Success. You can wiggle your turret all you like. It won't change a thing. When, hang on. What the... When did they find out my name? Did they come here specifically with the intent of killing me, Gordon Freeman? That's... That feels more sinister than it really should. It's only been like an hour since I started murdering these guys. Now, when did they have time to write graffiti? Oh, did I get him? I think I got him. Haha! <laughs> My turret now. I'm just gonna live in here. Oh, well, there's no door. I guess they locked him in. Is that, are those literally there to trap me? What, well, in case I want to go that way? But it's blocked off. Or is that... Oh, they blocked the other side of that. And the train would have come through here, but that blockage was in the way, which is why I had to go through all these passageways and come out here. Which means they, they put the explosives down and then also built a wall in the way, which seems like overkill, frankly, if you don't want me to come through there. Like, you should put the trip mines on the other side. Anyway. Not to that. And other things that people used to say in the 50s. Can I hop up here? Am I stuck? Nope, there we go. Ah, the crouch jump. Truly an iconic and uh, effective tool of an older and much more elegant time. Anyway, it looks like I can't bring through the train through here anyway. Are you gonna come with me or are you stuck? See you later. Okay, why not? Cool. Fantastic, neither do I. Why don't you come stand in front of some more bullets for me? Or indeed those. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm sure I'm fine from here. There we go. See, what I've done since last time is how do you safely explode a bomb by shooting it with bullets without dying from shrapnel? And I learned a lot. Ow, shit. But not how not to stand in front of these guys. Or well, so it would seem. There we go. Another man gently bleeding out. Another man gently suffocating on his own blood as he sits in what is apparently a silo that is for some reason accessed directly from a train. Actually, no, that tracks, that makes sense. If this is a payload chamber for some kind of orbital launch sense, there would be an, a loading rail. Let's have a look, see, and hopefully not die this time. Anyone else down there? I wonder if this is the bottom of the rocket I found last time. Ah, that tracks, yes, fantastic. Oh, I'm funny even when I'm not intending to be. Is this my my train? My train is here. Hooray, hooray for trains. Also hooray for boxes with bullets in. The single most fundamental building block of all video games is boxes full of bullets. Oh, it's choppy? Oh, that's not good. Has it been choppy the whole time or is it just choppy now? internet problems on my end rather than being uh, problems with the stream setup. Where even is low latency mode? I don't think I even... Hmm. I mean, you're streaming this, technically. <laughs> like, not to be a pedant or anything, but you are, you are streaming this stream. Which I suppose means it's being put up the pipes and then back down the pipes in the room next door. You know, the internet pipes, the internet comes through. How curious, because I don't think it was choppy last stream or at all, was it? Uh, let's see, where are my settings? Hmm. Well, this is definitely bad radio. Let's have a look, see what we have in the settings. Low latency. Yeah. But I don't, it's never made a difference before. I'm sure it, it shouldn't be the low latency mode. Well, okay, let's just go back and see what happens and immediately tell me if it's still all choppy and slow. Are we good, or are we choppy? 
people sleep. How many trains do we get in this chapter anyway? Can I hit that from here? Or is that... I don't think that's an explosive. Uh, that sucks. Okay, well I'll try turning off low latency mode and see what happens. As I said, it's never been a problem before. And I also don't know if I need to restart the stream for it to take effect. Is it? Maybe it is our internet. This is the sound of me being audibly puzzled. This is where I need, like, a small performing monkey or something to just start dancing around on the stream while I'm busy. You know, like a little gif I could put up while there's problems. One of those cutesy, like, 80s style technical difficulties pop-ups that they used to do on television. Which, if you're if you're under the age of 30, you probably haven't heard of. Telev you see, television was actually this system where um, companies would, would broadcast... Uh, live streams and things like um, things like 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 Netflix, you know, Netflix shows, but they would actually broadcast them at pre-programmed intervals, in in advance of time, so that there would be a schedule of different things you could watch. So you could decide between things, but you couldn't pick what you wanted at any time. It was uh, it was very popular for quite a long time, but um, sadly, it has now been superseded by the on-demand media. I mean, I'm being facetious, of course, but actually there straight up is, um, in my opinion, a lot of benefit to a um, to having scheduled programming. I think that, um, you know, being able to being able to flick something on and switch between stuff at random is desirable. Like not having to make a decision about what's on telly is actually something that's been lost in the modern day. And you can you can tell that that's true because they have, uh, you know, put back that sort of thing in. Um, in Netflix recently, you can just cl click a button that will randomly select something on Netflix for you. Okay, uh, well, let's try this again, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to restart the stream, so don't go anywhere. Just, you know, rejoin afterwards. Let's try again. I'm going to start hopping back and forth across the rail, because I'm hopping, but... Okay, well, I'm also being spat at by a spitter guy. Who just definitely hit me in the face, despite the fact that there's supposed to be like a 2% chance of them hitting at that range. So give me a shout if this is not improved. Yeah? Are we better? Are things going better? I think it might have just been a momentary blip with my random shitty internet. No stuttering. Fantastic. Let's try and make up for lost time. Also, I, it's a really nice little detail, but I really enjoy that Gordon Freeman seems to be uh, carrying a a speed loader for his his 44 Magnum handgun. Because oh, that was close. It's a good thing I decided to duck under those, huh? I mean, I know they're not alerted because I didn't hit the red things because I was smart enough to duck, but uh, it's still just nice to make sure that they're not going to surprise me horribly. See, I just love that the, the fact that he brought his speed loader into work, but he didn't bring his magnum into work. I I think it must be similar to, you know those, you know how there's like uh, tabletop gamers who have like their safety D20 that's just a, a comfort item that they keep on them at all times? I think that Gordon Freeman is like that with his speed loader. As I said, frequently last stream, I believe that today was the day Gordon was going to go postal anyway, so... Maybe he just forgot the he forgot the rest of his magnum. He remembered the speed loader and forgot the magnum. Ooh, a door that opens. Did I get that one? Is it dead? Oh, I did kill it, and it is dead. Fantastic. Now, I know this looks like a spelling mistake, but you've got to bear in mind that, um, you know, the American Special Forces are very carefully trained in, in traditional 
traditional forms of English. So you've got to remember that what this actually means is that Gordon Freeman, you were dead before you ever arrived. You are the dead of yore. You are the ancient dead. We are going to render you completely disrespectfully buried because you are the dead of yore. Anyway, this super seems like there's probably, yeah, ah, there's always a head crab. It, there are a lot like spiders in real life. That is the expression I would have also if I just got gobbed on by a ceiling bastard. Anyway, I think that's all that there is back here. I believe that um, canonically Gordon's suit just is full of bullets and has an automatic loader system in it. So presumably he pockets the reloader and it, and it itself reloads itself. And then he reloads the magnum with the reloader. Um, I think there's a mention of that somewhere in some kind of supplementary material that he's just, you know, the HEV suit just has a <laughs> a firearm loader system for some reason. That doesn't look good. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. How about those dodges, though? How about those dodges? Oh, shit, my train's going. I am better at that than I would have expected. Did he try to... Oh shit, my train. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get back here. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Come back! Ah, oh, beans. So, what I suspect... <laughs> what I suspect is that this guy fired a rocket at the same time the cart went past. The rocket hit the cart and just, you know, rendered him into a fine paste. Put him all over the floor and partly the ceiling. I thought there would be more supplies here. I'm disappointed that there aren't. Can I use this? Uh, okay. Uh, soldier men only, I guess. Let me see. Oh, it's just a trip mine. Okay. I should be careful about more of those then. Now, who keeps doing this? This is extremely unsafe. There's an iconic Douglas Adams phrase. Um... Deadly not in the way that a gun or a knife is deadly, but deadly in the way that a brick wall across a motorway is deadly. So clearly people know that this is not a good idea and that they shouldn't be doing it. Oh, this is not the- ugh. Now is not the time for reloading, now is the time for more, more shooting, more shooting, ideally on the nose. I love the bouncy- well, they're not ragdolls. The, the bouncy kill and Oh, fuck, there's another one. No, who said you could teleport? Honestly. Honestly, honestly, it's just terrible. It's really, frankly, inappropriate. Like, that we have legislation on teleportation for a reason. Like, I know that's not the, the popular leftist opinion to have, but teleportation can be used for bad things. Like, it needs to be controlled. Can I pop these open? Is there anything in them? Nope, just cardboard, I guess. <laughs> What's in your cardboard box? More cardboard. Yeah, I know, I do I do like I do like the water gaunts in the sequel. In fact, um nice little bit of uh storytelling through design. Notice the fact that these guys are wearing collars and um Wristlets, these are control mechanisms. None of the Vortigaunts in this game want to fight you or kill you. That won't stop me brutally murdering them at every opportunity I get, because I do love the way they fall over. However, it'll be revealed in the sequel that they are one of the many species conquered by a, a group called the Combine. Or possibly they were actually conquered by someone else and then the Combine also took over afterwards. Was there someone hide was there someone hiding there? Holy shit. <laughs> Who else, who else, who else needs some, you know, hot, sharp metal therapy right through the skull? Anybody else? Or are you all done? Is he up? Is he up? I bet there's someone up there. Can I? If I aim carefully, I bet I can get that through there. Yeah! Wowzers, I got him. I actually did get him. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was the Nihilanth in, in this game that conquers them. Aha! There we go. I should probably save these, actually, since it's the closest thing I have to a sniping weapon at the moment, and go back to my d delicious close-range shotgun. Which is perfect for hunting small game, which I think we could all agree headcrabs probably are. 
I don't, I mean, I don't, ooh. <laughs> Satchel charges. Oh, I love these. These are great fun. And they're actually significantly more useful than the uh, delightful but basically worthless trip mines. Generally speaking, if I drop a trip mine, I'm the only one who's going to tread on it later. So I don't, uh, I don't trust it, you know. I haven't played the game enough to know when ambushes are going to happen and therefore I don't have any real benefit to carefully planning where I'm going to put trip mines. Can I reload while I'm doing this? No, not really. Oh, you actually can't. Okay. So if you can't reload while you're using a HEV panel, that implies it must be using your hand in some way. So maybe he really is just jamming his finger up in there, like um, like the famous famous uh, little boy from Holland who stuck his finger in the dike. And I'm not going to unpack that sentence. What the fuck is back here? Did I miss something? Are there secrets? I do love secrets. Oh, it's a train. That's my, that's my, wait, hang on, that's my train. How many trains are there down here? So, it kind of fascinates me that there are so many trains on this network. It doesn't seem like this system has any safety mechanisms to prevent crashes. Um, all real light rail networks have some kind of a system in order to, oh shit. I'm getting too good at that. <laughs> I wonder if I'll run into that again. Um, as I was saying, most light rail networks have at least some kind of safety mechanism to prevent two carts being on the same track at the same time. That looks bad. Is that a... Does that say explosives on it in giant yellow letters? It does. Oh, that's delightful. As I have talked about previously, there is a kind of a fascinating... Fast... Shit! Ouch. Like I thought he was real smart, huh? Anyway, um, there is a kind of a fascinating aspect to this game, which is the way it's a midpoint between earlier game design styles and later game design styles, with um, all of these ideas that are, that are carried over from the pre-existing paradigms of the genre. You know, your quakes, your your dooms. Uh, your hexens, even, to some extent, considering you do get short lightning bolts by wizards in this game. And similarly, these ridiculous... I think people... Oh, I missed a message. I think people do reload their speed, lo speed loaders in combat. You have a speed loader that has six bullets in it, and then you can reload your, your, ha your revolver with it. You don't carry a bunch of speed loaders because it's quite a bulky little object, and so... Uh, you then, you know, refill it when you have time. It's better than not having the ability to reload fast, even if it is um, slower than swapping out a magazine. However, people do insist that there are a lot of advantages of a revolver over a magazine-fed weapon, not least being that it doesn't jam quite as easily. On the other hand, a shell jam is pretty easy to clear very quickly. Paradigms, paradigms, who can say what the correct pronunciation is? I sure can't because I'm stupid. Where are the guys? I can super, I can super hear guys. There's definitely guys. I think I missed him. Parasaurolophus I can pronounce, which um, scared children when I was a child because as a robot I was definitely way too able to pronounce things way too young. Oh, I'm still missing this guy. Okay. Oh, I know I'm not stupid. That was just a comment for comic effect, which is this technique that's often used by people who are trying to be entertaining on the internet. Oh, was that a headshot? There's a lot of a lot of blood came out of that. Oh, that's my trick. Shit, man, those things really get around, huh? Anyway, so yeah, uh, speed loaders. They're ouch, fucking hell. They're great. They do know how to how to hide behind crates, which is my other trick that they clearly have stolen. But oh, that guy thinks he's hiding. And now he's hiding forever. Talk about underground beef. 
Right, now let's see, if I... If I sprint across here, I can probably get into that safe little gap over there before it kills me. Oh. And from here, I might actually be able to lob a grenade in. Let's see. Nope, definitely not. It would be really helpful if I had a if I <laughs> if I had a member of the rowdy crew to come help and stop this thing from fucking murdering me. All right then, let's see how you like that. Did he say, "Oh God"? <laughs> It's almost like locking yourself in a tiny box made out of sandbags with no capacity to escape or dive out of the way of a hand grenade. It's maybe something that you should be taught not to do. Honestly, I'm fascinated by the bouncing up and down competency level of these guys who are insistent that they need to kill me. Why can't we just, you know, live and let live? Why can't we let bygones be bygones? Why can't we, why can't we let Gordons be gones? Ah, relaxing. The gentle hiss of morphine into my veins. I love to have morphine and I get disappointed when there's less fiend. Right, let's see. What else have we got? Ooh, more healing. Lovely. And that should be all for these gentlemen. Right, now that I've completed their customs checks, we can continue on to whatever the fuck we were doing down here. How frequent do you think an, a Gordon Freeman infestation actually is? Is that a side, a side area that I can access? Apparently, if I oh no, no, I want the stuff. This is called gun carter. It's a technique that's popular in. What was hurting me just? What's hurting me? That's bizarre. If I go over that again, will it kill me? What the shit? Well, folks, looks like I found another bug. Which I shall prevent by not going in the lift this time. So, what happened there? I'm totally guessing, but I suspect that the... Uh... Yeah, actually, do you know what it was? Because, you know, that's a death spell that is, is not exactly common in the world. Because what I suspect is that... Um... Oh, jeez, okay. Well, I know. I have a solution to this, definitely. <laughs> Okay, well, can you tell me what it is, or do you want me to guess? Because, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, but is that on his melee attack, or is that on, on a bullet he was firing when he died? This is what we call emergent gameplay, by the way. Three, two, one, and... Boom. Wow, that was a mess, huh? Oh look, they even they even put a spare one down here to replace it. How, that's extremely thoughtful. Thank you, game devs. All right, let's bring that back down. I'm astonished that it still functions, considering that was three crates of explosives. Tiny little scorch mark. What's, what is this goddamn thing made of? I I've been making fun of the extremely ter. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that used to be a guy. Alas, he is no more. For what he thought was H2O was me putting a satchel charge right behind him. Now if I'm very careful I should be able to get over here and find out what's in this, which looks like more grenades for my underslung grenade launcher, which is delightful because I was running a bit low on those. There is something delightful about underslung grenade launchers. They're one of my favourite kinds of grenade launchers in video games. What is this? Shh, be very, very quiet. Ah, <gasps> wait, what if I... Do you think this will work? Oh fuck! Shit, shit, shit! Well, I mean, that could have gone better. <laughs> Still, it worked out fine in the end. Well, that is exactly the kind of hardcore gaming that we support here on Self Critical Automaton, popular hardcore gaming channel, because that's absolutely badass and well done for actually succeeding at it. I can't believe I actually found a good use for a satchel charge as well. I mean obviously you're supposed to use it in the in the elevator, but lobbing it down the hole to hit the guy, that worked out pretty good. Right, I hope there's some armor or something up here, because I'm starting to feel a little bit shrapneled. 
which is a common British colloquialism that means you've got hot pieces of metal in your body. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the stream. There is yet more of me fucking about with explosions than I really should be more careful with. But yeah, I've made a lot... I've done a lot of mocking of the uh, Black Mesa construction team's extremely low effort building technology, but honestly, that thing's made of fucking iron. I've never heard of an elevator that could have crates of explosives that would fill it floor to ceiling and not- well, this is making me dizzy. This isn't good. Also, that was a joke when I said it, but it's now true. Around and around, and around and around, and around and around and around and around. You spin me round, right round, right round, like a record baby. Now, see, that looks like it's gonna hurt me. Can I- actually, if I just leave this running, can I sneak through here without- I time it right? One... Ouch. I think I'm alright, I think I'm alright, I think I'm alright. Uh, we're fine, it's fantastic. Let's go. Spectacular. I don't want to risk damaging my precious, precious cart. But I also don't want to die from explosions. And I should probably mute messages on my phone so that it does not send me messages while I'm trying to look at Twitch chat. Oh, see, that was fairly effective. I don't know what I was worrying about. It's not like I've fucked that up plenty of times so far. Oh, it's just occurred to me, I can't put... I can't put trip mines on here. But what happens if I put a satchel charge on here, huh? What happens if I just drop that there and then I... Oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> I'll, I'll love you forever, Satchel Charge. I miss you. If I just send this on by itself, will it be fine? It will. I might not be. Jesus Christ. These guys aren't exactly sparing with their explosives. Well, oh, beans, really? We're all the way back here? Okay. Well, I shall remember to quick save next time. But fortunately, we can just speed run through this since I know what to do. I pretty. I just. They were. I thought they were in the box. Were they not in the box? They, they super looked in the box. So many bits come off this. It's delightful. Three days worth of bouncing shrapnel. Oh, it might have dropped off the wagon because of that, but I think it slid off immediately before I went through the load zone, so I'm not really sure. It's this new, it's this new incredibly clever American military technology where they hide guys in a box. I bet, I bet that, that must have got him, right? <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I thought. It just, you know, fell off the back. Fell off the back of a train, as they say. But of course, you'll never be able to prove it, and I really don't care what evidence you have, sir. Ah, fuck! Well, I'm sure it's fine. Let's go. Okay, well, I've discovered another point at which I should probably quick save this time. One, two, three, four. I'm not even going to bother picking the one underneath, because why would I at this point? I've got more satchel charges than- oops, fuck. Let's just stand over here. <laughs> Got more satchel charges than I was going to use anyway, however I've now wasted one like a fool. It does not leave trip mines floating in space, those trip mines immediately detonate. We found that out last stream, uh, when I decided to do some clever science and blew myself to fuck in the process. Which is not an uncommon experience, as you will continue to see. I don't think I killed that guy. Oh, really? Interesting. Right, let's see if we can make it through here without dropping down to our terrible, violent death for, what, the third time now? Ugh, fuck! Do you know, I think maybe I don't need those explosives. <laughs> it's the first time I've said this. I never thought it would happen, but I think possibly, 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 it is wiser for me not... Ow, fuck. This is getting stupid.
Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get it out of my system. Goodbye, cruel world. Okay, right. Okay, I've exploded enough now. I've exploded enough. No switch on pickup is fucking hilarious. Are you kidding? It only it's only if I don't have any in my inventory already, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Good night, sweet prince. Then may boxes of explosives wing you on your way. How, how the fuck does that work? There? Well, not like this, I suppose. Switch on pickup seems like it would be a really fun little... You know, when I started that sentence I had a joke, and when I finished that sentence I did not, so I really have no idea what the hell my idea was going to be. Sing thee to thy rest. Thank you, that's the one. I can always rely on you to know Shakespeare, because you're like really cool and cleverer than me and this time this time i'm not f i do kind of want the explosives though <laughs> i i i do kind of want the explosives though you know what i'm gonna quick save which is what i should have been doing all along because this is a game from 1998 and all right point made <laughs> okay well let's just go see what a horrible mess we've made down here oh hey you didn't even gib well, that's... Uh, I probably shouldn't waste explosives killing him, should I? Oh well, let's go. Oh hey, I did not realise this was... Oh wait, yes I did. We're going up, not down. Ah, fuck. There's too many ladders in this game. I can never remember any, whether I need to go up or down. Oh, I was actually using the slow walking button every time I died. <laughs> um... How the hell? Oh, the elevator. Aha, yes. This was more of a puzzle than it needed to be. But you know what? I finished recording another episode of my missed Let's Play today, so I'm all puzzled out. Which is why I'm making so many puzzling decisions. Ho 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 ho. Hee 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 ho ho ho. I like puns. I forgot how unpleasant this is to look at. I'm just going to stare at my feet and hope that nobody shoots me. I wonder if the speed at which you rise is related to your... No, it's not. Oh well. Well, that was a much easier and safer science experiment than any of the other ones we've conducted so far, wasn't it? I don't think there was anything in these, and yet I'm compelled. Ooh, magnum bullets. Yes, there was. And more delightful grenades for me to explode myself with. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set this to go and then just like follow at my own speed. Ouch. Godspeed, cart. You're a braver man than I. Which is literally true. Actually, what the- oh, I'm stuck. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is the buggiest goddamn chapter we've been in so far. Does anyone know if there's an unstuck console command? Because this is silly. I'm, I'm literally- I can't move or jump. What if I- what if I- Oh yeah, no clip, of course. Is it no clip on or just no clip? Uh, also, how do I turn it off afterwards? Alright, that should do. Can I switch the cheats back? Uh, I should probably leave it on. Maybe I won't get some chivos, you never know. But Oh, I've just... I should have put a sash... No, wait, hang on, we already established that that would not work. However, I can use my future knowledge carefully this time. And make use of my beloved pineapples. That looks about right. Wait, were they not in the box this time? Guys, are you... Shit, there they are. And there they aren't. The crimes of Gordon continue will... <laughs> the crimes of Gordon continue will explosion. Right. 
Let's see. Now who are we gonna get? Well, maybe maybe the grenade bounced into the space inside the box and it, it forced them to clip out the back of the box, which is what protect them from the explosions. You never know, you can never tell with a Source Engine game, especially not one this old. I think this is the Source port, but I'm not sure. That probably is why we're having so many bugs. Let's be careful not to go through the explosions line, except that that's a machine guns line, which is a somewhat different flavour, although equally terrible for me personally. You could have said they were Schroding Schrodinger's boxes. Let's see, this thing will destroy a turret in one hit. Aha, there's one. And there's another one. So just two of you or are we good? Do you have a friend? A buddy? A pal? An ally? A comrade? A compatriot? A filthy backstabbing... Shit, that's an explosion. Ow, Jesus Christ. Turret pals is a pain in my ass. <laughs> the rockets, the rockets are hard to dodge. I will give them that. I will tell you that for free. So, hang on a second. Why are why are they why are they guarding the sides? Oh, right. That's why. One's a... Nope, that ain't gonna work. Sure, why not? Why not have a hint about the rockets? No. Is it gonna be that if I stay on the shit? Actually, you know what? When I was when I was trying hard earlier, I did fan I did actually manage to dodge every single goddamn thing that went past me. So maybe I just have to be careful about that again. Okay, let's see if I can actually wiggle from side to side this time. Oh, this is working. This is fine. Oh, okay. So instead of trying to be clever and snipe this guy out, I should have just absolutely done the fucking Matrix thing immediately. You know, I'm flapping my arms and falling over backwards like Neo the Matrix while shooting that guy to death. I think I did pretty good. This looks, this looks dangerous. Unfortunately, there's a stop button. Oh, is it moving? That's not fair. Go, 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 go. Perfection. Ah, oh, yeah. Right then. Time to reload, Dr. Freeman. Is this. Am I gonna go down that hole? Genuinely, genuinely, when it started to head over the edge, I thought it was just going to tip and fall the fuck down. <laughs> I was about to start humming the, like, um, funeral march. Oh, shit. Well, clearly I should have hummed the funeral march anyway. Luckily, level transitions will save you every single time. Oh, I see a thing that I don't want to touch. I can see multiple things that I don't want to touch. Let's try this again. You know, their total lack of surprise is kind of... Hey, if I'm on the other side of a level boundary when I pull the trigger, what happens? Because that's a load zone I just went through. Time to do science. Well, it still works. That's good to know. It definitely exploded some stuff, including a guy. What flavour of guy? I cannot tell you. Probably... Probably head crab flavour. Or maybe there's just blood in this room. After all, we have to remember that, um... Shit! Shit, 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 shit! After all, we have to remember that Black Mesa does love its blood vents. Alright, let's not make that mistake again. Let's also make this mistake in advance by reloading before we jump into combat and then just blasting away with the old shotgun. Oh, these guys, these ones are meaty, huh? 
Well, time to heal up. Thanks for the clip. It's really convenient for me when people clip stuff that they think is funny because it means that I don't have to watch a fucking two hour video of myself talking in order to find little bits to put on Twitter, even though I never actually remember to do the putting on Twitter bit. Can I get that? Oh, oh, he ran away. Oh, he's back. And he's gone away again. I think we can all agree that as far as Gordon Freeman knows, these guys are just having a little nap. This this is a this is a, a sleep a sleep grenade. This this has sleeping gas in it. Those bullets are all tranquilizers, of, of course. You know we can definitely be confident about that. Let's see where this is gonna go. This is just another one of those stupid dodging puzzles. Oh, there's a landmine as well. Fantastic, lovely, great, fantastic. I love to have landmines all over the goddamn place. That's a miss. Let's try that. Wait, hang on, what the hell? Ow, shit. Gordon has a doctorate in firearms. Gordon has Gordon did his PhD on on, on muzzle velocity, I think. I'm gonna run out of grenades at this rate. Is there even a guy in there still? Oh, I think I got him. Time to smash things open and crack them apart and see what's inside. Well, look. There's no kill like overkill, I think we can all agree. Also, there's this blue line that keeps glitching in and out and makes me think there's a trip mine there, so... Frankly, I can't be blamed for any of my behaviour, says Gordon, in the, uh... in the witness box at his own, um, at his own hearing. Hey, technology, says Gordon Freeman. Anyway, I had a whole last thing I was going to say, but I can't for the life of me, let's be careful about them, can't for the life of me remember what it was going to be, so instead I'm just going to take a second to say, uh, if you don't already and you enjoy my work, why not give me a follow on here or check out my YouTube channel where I do in-depth, carefully planned uh, Let's Plays. And, uh, yeah, it's worth doing, because I'm good at this and you're enjoying it. You are enjoying it, or else, I say, menacingly waving a loaded handgun for the third time today. We did actually establish that Gordon had a, uh, what do you call it? Ow, fuck, shit, ow, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Sniper nests? I did not remember they are there. Did I get him? I think I did. Well, I've only got literally one hit point left. That doesn't sound great. I'm sure I'll be fine. I wonder if I should explode myself before I go through an automatic level boundary save load point. Otherwise I might have to resort to cheating, which I never ever want to do. This super looks like it's going to save my game. You know what? You're right. We are pro gamers on this channel. What do we care about? Whether or not we are alive or dead. Hey! Fuck. <laughs> oh, there's the guys. What's Gordon Freeman's favourite flavour of syrup, by the way? Grenadine. Well, that guy clipped me with one bullet, so I think we're alright. I'm running low on these, though, so I should probably resort to... Uh, less highly limited forms of fiery explosion death. Because, of course, you know, Magnum Bullet is a larger form of fiery explosion death than most of the handgun options. However, it is... I get him. Well, I know I should listen to their conversation, but on the other hand, they're just so killable. They're just... they're just eminently shootable men, frankly. Ow, Jesus, fuck, they're still there. Did that get him? Must have done. Yep, yeah, that's no more of him, which is fine by me. It's convenient that Gordon knows the knows the key codes to all of these doors, and also that these doors apparently don't have the optical scanners that all of the doors inside the facility had. You'd think this would also be important to. Oh, those guys are made of iron. Ow, shit.
Sabotage, maybe? Yeah, maybe. All I know for sure is he's been killing my buddies. Oh yeah, he'll pay. He will definitely pay. It's been like two hours. How the hell do they know it's me and not some other scientist? What the hell is that guy holding? Oh, he's got my shotgun. No wonder he's killing me. This feels like a Dark Souls room. This feels like one of those Dark Souls rooms where you spend half an hour getting through it and then afterwards it's always fine forever. I forgot. I forgot that my only true friend was explosives. You know, like, we've made it clear all the way through. You know, I've talked about how the, the only one I can trust is the crowbar. And yet, for some reason, I keep defaulting to other firearms, and yet, always, 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 we come back around to the humble explosive and how it's the only friend I have at this point. <sighs> you too, explosive. You too. Can't trust any of these fuckers. <laughs> Least of all myself. Wow, it bounced off him and he didn't even care. Friendship ended with explosives. Once again, the crowbar is my only friend. I suspect that they're just kind of idiots. Like, I, I reckon they're incredibly highly trained, but I suspect that despite all of their extensive training, none of them have ever actually been on a battlefield before. It's a it's an experiment about how you can give people just a shit ton of explosives and they'll probably solve a problem eventually just through brute force. It's like the, the among them, except with grenades. Because, you know, if you give a sufficient number of no monkeys a sufficient number of grenades, eventually they will prevent an alien invasion. Okay, I should probably quick save after the murder this time. Let's see if we can do a quick speed run. Oh shit, that's bad. Whoopsie daisy. Well, I was hoping to have another one of those, but oh well. Alright, delicious giblets established. Let's see if we can get a nice explosive up in there. Oh, fantastic! Right in the nose. He's dead, right? I think he's dead. It's like how in early X- Ah, shit! But how are you still alive? Excuse me, sir, but that's not okay. God almighty. This room is going to drive me insane. I thought I was playing on the medium difficulty. But yeah, it's like it's like early in, a, in an XCOM campaign when where you, you don't have the resources to properly defend yourself against an alien invasion, so what you do is you just make do with an absolute shit ton of idiots each of whom gets about five or six grenades. <laughs> is is the, is Adrian Shepard's story canon though? I thought that only the main uh, Half-Life sequel and Blue Shift were canon technically. Oh wait, hang on, I forgot about the explosions. Ah, fuck. Hey, I did it, fantastic. I could have been using this 50 cal the entire time. Ah yes, the popular concept of dub cannon, which is um, established much later by Homestuck. Which of course is much older than that because if Hussies... Oh, I don't want to touch those. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like a job for indirect explosives once again. Oh, can I? Should I just climb up here? Can I do that? Is that allowed? Let's have a let's have a look. Is it dub cannon? What the hell is the? Or is it? I don't know. It's been too long since I caught up on Homestuck content. You know, because why why would I not mention Homestuck if I want to alienate the rest of my viewership? I'm kidding. All of you are fucking Homestucks, aren't you? Aren't you? Admit it. Otherwise, it's entrapment. Oh, can we make it? Haha, -ha, fantastic. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do this, but I think I saw a speedrunner do it once, which probably indicates that you're not- Oh, I can't get through here. Ah, fuck. Wow, they thought of everything, those devs, huh? Of 
Gordon is the mage of explosions. <laughs> Let's have a look. Where do they hell? Actually, where do they get all these explosions from? They seem to move them around extremely fast. Should I just explode them with grenades? I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself to fit through there without exploding. Or, oh ha ha! On the other hand, I might have a loophole. Oh yes, fantastic. Observe, Mr. Army Man, I have defeated your explosion puzzle. Shit. <laughs> so I have a fascinating story for you all. I'm sure you all know this already. But the phrase hoisted by one's own petard comes from um, siege warfare in the Middle Ages, where a petard was a uh, large bo large barrel of gunpowder. Oh, that doesn't even that doesn't even set it off. Okay, where a petard was a large barrel of gunpowder, which very brave men would run up to the castle walls with, dump in front of it, and then run away from before it exploded. To be hoisted by one's own petard was to be blown into the air by one's own explosives. So, the real irony here is history. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save here so I can try again faster. Oh, okay, this is slightly slid further than I thought. Okay, nope, that ain't gonna do it. No, that. What if I move the other crate? Ow, shit! Can I move the other crate? Because this is getting silly. What if I th what if I throw something that bisects? What if I throw something that bisects the? The beam. Nothing. Well, that's not going to do it. But that just might. Or maybe I will have rendered myself unable to fit through here. Is this a, this is a sliding block puzzle? We've come back around to Batman. After our lengthy conversation about it previously, where I did nothing but mention the fact that it is a Japanese style of game, called, which translates roughly as Warehouse Keeper, which is which has been popular for a long time and is the basis of a lot of kinds of puzzle. I did it! I did it! I solved your fucking explosion puzzle. Now come out so I can shoot you in the head with bullets. Oh, beans. I'm going to get the blame for this. Oh, shit. You know what happens if you... Oh, wait, hang on. Didn't I save? Okay. Ouch. I have to be okay. I have to be fully crouched. Good to know. But yes, no. I have been hit with a soccer ban hammer. For those of you who are under the age of thirty, the ban hammer was a conception that people had in the age of forums, where where you would be struck with the ban hammer to be banned from the forums if you broke the rules. We still have this in the modern day, except they're called call-out posts now, and they generally result in the um, basically basically the end of your social life as an individual. Um, right then, like let's try and do this properly with <gasps> with grenade, of course. Anyway, that guy I'm probably going to get the blame for later, which is understandable but still unfair. Soccer ban hammer is great, but that is kind of where I was going with it anyway. Right. Have you got any grenade? Hey, have you got grenades? Like I'm really, I'm really jonesing for a grenade. I've used up all my grenades. I could really, I could really use some grenades. Hmm. One of these rooms seems more important than the other. I'm absolutely about to be ambushed by more soldiers, aren't I? Or is there just not? Was there nothing in here? This super seems like a room that should be hiding some useful. Useful supplies, and yet it is not. Satellite portal array. Interesting. Interesting. Also, oh, okay, that was really weird. I thought the earth was all fucked up, and then I realised I was seeing the back side of the other side of the hologram. Well, anyway, I desperately need some more morphine, so I'm going to top up here on the old wall panel. And then, for similar reasons, I'm going to take a quick break to go to the bathroom. So I will be right back with you. And, uh, yeah. I will try to avoid dying again.
And I am back, and hopefully you are back, and we are all back together, and it's time to no longer explode, because we aren't we aren't in pieces, that's what I mean by we're back together, probably. Let's go with that. So yeah, this is this is here to establish that the soldiers have just been murdering everyone. However, we did already know that when we overheard a couple of soldiers basically saying, Wow, I sure can't <laughs> Oh boy, I can't wait to do some war crimes. Ooh, wowzers. I just I sure do love killing civilians. That's just Mmm. Chef's kiss, says the guy. And I do want to point out again that my uh my own indiscretions are mere ordinary crimes, not war crimes. If I remember correctly, there was a, a Half-Life multiplayer map that was themed around this area that had this bunker. Oops. Oh, beans. Ah, fuck. There we go, that's fine. That indeed, that had this bunker, and if someone ran inside and hit the button, the launch would happen. And um, anyone outside would be immediately killed. And a lot of the people inside would be killed as well, as they desperately shot each other trying to get in, get in the bunker before the door shut. <laughs> Well, that seems like a pretty successful launch. I don't know how uh, I don't know how likely NASA are to be like, "Wow, we did good today." But you know, like, how many launches succeed and how many fail? I'm not a I'm not a NASA technician, but I imagine most of them are fine. Oh right, the bombs. I'm sure I'm sure I can make it. I can I can do this. I can do this. Come on, Gordon. Come on, Gordon. You were the sprinting champion for 15 years. You you can make the transition to long jump. You can do it. Aim carefully and. Hop! See, I'm worried that I'm getting typecast as the person who says they're not going to explode and then explodes. On the other hand, that was genuinely unintentional, just like all the rest. Let's try this again. Also, the, the soundtrack in this area is pretty good. This game has this surprisingly a surprisingly tight, like, uh, industrial, industrial soundtrack in the background quite a lot, but you never really hear it or think about it. Is that... is that it? Do I just go back inside now if I missed something? Narcissist is extremely good, holy shit. How did I not think of that? Aha! Time to head on outside? No, this is back indoors again. Time to head on back indoors. I think we came from over there, so this must be another part of the facility that we're heading to now. Which should not be much trouble. If I had enough satchel charges, I'd get into the habit of dropping down one, one down every single shaft I ever enter. Because if there's nothing more than I like than a satchel package, it's getting shafted. Which is a stupid joke, and let's move on. Ah, oh, tasty. Delicious protections. That's what I really want. Oh no, I take it back. This is what I really want. <laughs> oh, satchel charges. It's just you and me against the world. Oh, of course. Um, yeah, no, the... The plot so far, as it stands, is that we show up for work, something terrible happens, aliens start teleporting in everywhere, the goal is to escape, but as you're escaping, the military show up and start shooting everyone, so you're like, oh no, we're being shot, and then a scientist tells you, basically, well, actually, no, a security guard tells you that a scientist told him to tell you that, um, disastrously, this whole situation is going to keep happening, and aliens are going to keep teleporting in until someone goes and launches a satellite that they can use to shut the portals down from orbit somehow. How exactly they plan to do that is a total mystery, but fuck it, I'll believe a scientist, why not? <laughs> Stranger things have happened today. Um, that makes me sound like some kind of anarcho-primitivist, which I absolutely categorically am not. I generally speaking believe in science. Well, actually, no, I don't believe in science. I trust that science is true, because it is a... Oh, that's bad. Because it is uh, an empirical way of looking at the world. Is that guy... Is he, is he in trouble? Oh no, I'm in trouble. Let's try something with a few more bullets, shall we? But yeah, this game does actually need subtitles quite badly. Oh, oh two for one. Oh, no, he's alive. I was intending to download a mod in between last stream in this stream that would provide subtitles. However, I completely fucking forgot, so that one's on me, guys. Don't worry about it. I'll take the blame. Although it should probably... What a strange noise. Does that mean it's locked? Sounds like an industrial robot sneezing. Which I would know as a non-industrial robot who sneezes a lot. Let's 
Let's see if we can get down safely rather than fucking about on this balcony for too long. Sneaky, sneaky, and ow. I mean, if I drop in the water, I'd probably be fine, but when have I ever jumped feet first into a situation that I didn't know how it was going to pan out with no real uh, avenue for escape if everything went terribly? I've never done that. I'm Gordon Freeman. Sensible, safe, non-risk-taking gentleman. Are they? Are they having an intimate moment? I, I don't want to disturb them. Oh, fascinating. I think it, honestly, it sounds better than most locked door noises. It just kind of sounds like, um, it sounds like a, a big door with empty space behind it echoing, which is honestly better than the door locked sound by itself. Uh, you're busy, I'll come back later. Oh, you are no longer busy, so I'll just, um, yeah, sorry. I just, uh, I need these things. I need the stuff. Thanks, bye. The walls in this section, you mean the the panels, the, the textures? That's actually really cool. That's a fascinating detail. Speaking of fascinating details about this game, one of the things that I, well, it's not a detail, but like one of the things I really appreciate about its design is, as I said before, it's got this halfway point in between the age of, you know, um, carefully designed spaces that are supposed to look and behave like real spaces and the uh, age of arena shooter design where you design uh palm okay where you design spaces based on whether they are fun to move through while shooting aliens and um i think that's extremely cool it results in this really weird peculiar tone a lot of the time as you you know explore and do stuff and oh were those there before i don't think they were it's just like trying to get out of the swimming pool in real life. Way more difficult than it seems. Uh, anyway, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so... Later with the immersive sim, and then the way that fed back into gen general shooter design, and especially with uh, the way it fed into the design of Half-Life 2, um, there was this idea that you should design spaces that look like they might actually work. And what fascinates me about Half-Life is that, unlike the prior shooters, it does not have this have these areas that look like, you know, it says, oh, this is the pumping facility and there's just some big pipes, or, oh, this is the comm facility and maybe there's a computer panel. They're actually supposed to look like areas that are what they say they are. However, um, they're not designed in that way. They have the appropriate bits and bobs, but it's not until the immersive sim that you start getting spaces designed to look like they're actually supposed to be used in the way that things are supposed to be used. Is this...? Uh, well, I definitely can't get up there. Are there more boxes or something? This feels like a puzzle. Is that the other side of the...? Do I want to get on the other side of the wall for the water, maybe? Well, I could do that by dropping down, couldn't I? If I run across here and run back through here... And back... Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I see you finished bothering with whatever the fuck it was you were bothering with. Which was just gently fingering that corpse. Vulnerable to headshots, just like everything else. Well, I guess when your entire body is an ambulatory head that likes to eat other heads, that's gonna happen. Alright, let's try dropping in this side and see what we can see. It's more slaughter worms or whatever the fuck they're called. I don't like them anyway. Let's zoom through here as fast as possible. Gordon Freeman. Also, uh, not just the not just the chief sprinter of his of his uh, valedictorian class. That's not a thing. Not just the chief sprinter of his class, but also the greatest swimmer that his school had ever seen in a generation. Either that or the uh, HEV suit has little um, fan panels in it that are propelling him gently through the water because there's no way anyone human can move this fast through a sewer pipe. Anyway, um, but yeah, so you do get these fascinating spaces and it results in this really weird kind of... Uh, is there anything? Oh, there's a shit ton of grenades in there. I wonder how I get in there. Uh, it does result in this really weird kind of feel where you have these spaces that are, you know, ostensibly an office complex, but it's not laid out the way an office complex ever would be. And I like to think of it as, as being um, groups of themed levels. These ideas that would eventually become... Oh, well, that sucks for him. Um, 
these ideas that would eventually become... Oh, is it breakable? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to go back all that way. These ideas that would eventually become things like the way that spaces are laid out in immersive sims are kind of pioneered here. Except that the, it, these areas are still designed very much the way that arena shooters were designed pre previously. Oh, slippery. Um, why is this water slimy? I don't want to think about that. Is that where we came in, or is this where we came in? Oh, slaughterfish are the fish from Dishonored. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, is, can I just can I kill that with explosions? I can kill most things with explosions. So it has this kind of like weird theme and themedness, where in immersive Sims there are always vents because vents are a mechanic, and crawling through the vents to Okay. You get me a boat, you get me $30,000 and that fish is dead. Or however the quote from Jaws goes. Cold dead eyes. Cold like a doll's eyes. Whatever the fuck he says. I don't know, it's been... I was going to say it's been too long since I watched that movie, but actually I watched half of it a few months ago before I got bored and stopped, which is not something I would ever normally do. Slaughterfish are from Elder Scrolls, but I think they are also... I think that's also the name of the creepy fish in um, in Dishonored. Although there might be murder fish or something like that. You know what this calls for? This calls for grenade. <gasps> Wait, if I just drop this in the, if I just like, if I just, can I, can I just? No, okay. I can't just place them on empty space. Shit, that's gonna bite me in the ass. <laughs> that's a problem for future me to deal with. Present me is gonna go drop in this and see if it's okay. Anyway, um, yeah, to finish what I was saying, it's just, you get these kind of collections of, of themed areas rather than rather than consistent mechanics that are a mechanic that's present the whole way through, which is what you get later in Immersive Sims. You know, uh, vents exist because places have airflow access me mechanisms built in as part of them. Uh, oh, okay. This is fine, I've been shark fishing before. Um, I mean, Gordon Freeman has, let's say. Dance, 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 baby. Dance, dance, like you do. Hagfish. Hagfish, okay. No, Dishonored has, Dishonored has hagfish, which are hagfish. Dishonored also has large fish, which eat you when you go in the water. And they're not the same thing. The hagfish are like real hagfish. They're eels. They're just a kind of a thing. But there are, there are fish in the water in Dishonored that you can uh, turn into if you use the possession power. Anyway, that's all besides the point. The main... Can I climb up on that? No. Uh, the main point is just that it's interesting that they kind of... Oh, I bet this leads around to that staircase I found already. Ha ha! Ha ha! Fantastic. Uh, instead of these things being consistent elements which are consistent throughout the levels, you instead have a little themed area where it's time, it's time for half an hour of sneaking through vents, and then we won't really do much vent sneaking again. And then it's time for half an hour of um, riding a train, but we won't really do that again. And then it's time for half an hour of uh, going through a tightly, tightly complicated office space, which also involves... Um, what the hell was I saying? A tightly, tightly coiled office space, which also has a great deal of... Nope, I'm still not remembering what my sentence, how my sentence was going to end. Tight, a great deal of shortcuts, shortcuts that you find and then open and then realize, oh, I'm back on the other side of that previous door. And then that's, you know, that's a mechanic that exists, but it's not like ever really delved into in so much detail in one place ever again. So it's it's again another sign of the way in which this was a really important interstitial point, both in the storytelling of FPSs. And the way that FBS games went from being run and gun, quake, quake, doom, hex, and fiasco goes. Am I safe and ouch? Oh, I don't think that hit me. I'm, sa I'm safe. I'm safe in a box. I'm in a box and safe. This is really good for me personally. Yep. 
Yeah, I know, I know. It sucks, but you can uh, you can stop complaining about it now because you're dead. Gordon has never learned anything. The fact that he got through medical school... He didn't go to medical school, what am I saying? The fact that he got through his physics degree at all is a miracle, basically. Oh, this seems slippy. Let's get ready with the old underwater crossbow. Hop. Well, that went better than expected. As did that. Oh, he doesn't like these, huh? Interesting. I think it's cool of uh, I think it's cool of Half Life to include the crossbow in this and in Half Life Two. The crossbow, of course, being the just the second coolest firearm in in video games. The coolest firearm in video games is, of course, always whatever your handgun happens to be. I don't know why, but the weakest pistol in a game is always my favorite gun to use. I'm actually just guessing at progression elements at this point, and I always turn out to be right, which is just testament to, <laughs> testament to how well this game is designed. Oh, hey, that's the G-Man. Wow, these things really fuck them up, huh? Also worth noting that that scientist said that he said that they said they brought this sample in from the ocean a week ago, but it's actually definitely not from Earth. Which means that, um... Someone's been telling fibs. Someone at Black Mesa has been lying about stuff. Because they definitely weren't... Or at least they probably... Maybe they, maybe they did know that this would happen. Maybe, maybe, maybe they were trying to make this happen. They were experimenting with teleportation, I think. But did Gordon know that they were experimenting with teleportation to the point where they were actually opening holes into alien worlds and bringing weird fish monsters through? And if so, did he condone it? Is it morally wrong to bring fish monsters from an alien world to Earth? Ah, that looks that looks dangerous. I'm probably supposed to get back through here after turning that off somehow. Or maybe I'm supposed to do some incredibly dangerous uh, freeform parkour. Because, you know, Gordon Freeman's probably an urban explorer on top of everything else. Oh. <gasps> Satchel charges. Ow, dip. I just was there stairs? No, there was a ladder. You know, I had to say none of these facilities are very um, wheelchair accessible. If this were a uh, oh, ah oh, beans. Well, I brought this on myself. I find it really amusing that uh, this is one of those games that lets you have a little look around after you've died. It really gives the impression that you know your character hasn't actually died of whatever it is. It's just. You know, you get a few final seconds as you're as you're you bleed out. You know, the horrifying implication that even if you were crushed in a giant press, you might not die instantaneously and would be forced to suffer a few seconds of, of pain as you lie on the floor, pressed into a thin paste, your oils leaking out, your various other. Wait, hang on. Did I not need to do that? <laughs> Could I have just climbed up this the entire time? Oh well. Let's find out. Okay, I, I probably could have got up here the entire time. Well, whatever. What's what's life if you don't live it dangerously, am I right? Right. Yes, no, it is very helpful that I'm a time god. Very few games choose to interact with the fact that almost all video games just give you the... Oh. He didn't see me, but his buddy did. Fortunately, as far as I know, this game doesn't have any kind of tracking for sound effects. So you can freely fire as many firearms in an enclosed space as you want, and this dipshit's not going to hear you. Oh, I forgot to reload again. I know I keep bringing it up, but like, for years I thought that Remember to Reload, Dr. Freeman, was the single stupidest line in Half-Life 2. I... You buddy, you are so lucky. You have no idea. I was about to fucking shoot you. Why would you open the door immediately as I run past after while I am running and gunning a whole bunch of weird aliens? You nearly brought... It would have been on your head, and your head would have been on whatever that is. Well, what if it jibs your body and leaves the entire rest of your head, you know? 
Like I'm not an expert on, on gibbing, and it's not like it's not like in real life we have any actual examples to go from. You know, you don't you don't turn into six purple lumps on a single bone. You you, you turn into a thin, fine paste. Is is what happens. Anyway, this is a good opportunity to just reload all of my firearms uh, that need reloading. At any rate, is that just wow? Have I only been using like two of these? Oh hey, this this crossbow has a magazine. I had no idea. That's kind of funny. I know that crossbows with magazines in real life exist, but it just feels like a really silly idea to me personally. I love that. There's something really tender and loving about the way Gordon hefts the magnum and gently, gently lifts the hammer and then puts it down again. It's really, it's really got a kind of a, almost a fetishization to it as he, as he contemplates the animist spirit of his killing arm. Anyway, um, hi. Gordon Freeman, it is you, isn't it? The science team has been tracking your progress with the Black Mesa security system. Unfortunately, so is the military. That suit of yours is full of tracking devices. Still, it's better than going naked in this place. It's cold in there, and you'll have to hurry. It could sap your suit power in a matter of moments. If you're bent on reaching the Lambda complex, then you'll want to keep to the older industrial areas where the security system is full of holes. It's worked for me, so far. Well, why are they tracking you? Anyway, what this guy is saying, for anyone who can't make out the extremely crunchy audio, is that, uh... The science team and the military have been tracking me because the HEV suit is just chock full of um, chock full of tracking devices, which was remarkable to people in 1998, but is a sad fact of life for us in the modern day that we all just wander around with a pocket full of um, homing homing beacons. Are you gonna are you gonna let me through or what? Anyway, he also says that it's cold as shit in here and that I need to be really careful and go through as fast as possible. So that's what we're gonna do. Wow, he wasn't kidding. This room can cold. Can I just drop down? There we go. So I have left several individuals unmurdered, which is probably the first time I've done that. And we're probably going to be hearing them hissing away for a little while longer. And I suspect... I find, am I correct in thinking? <gasps> no, okay. I thought, this was the, I thought this was the room that has the only female characters in the game in it. However, well, it might be, I'm not sure. Nope. <laughs> we haven't seen them yet, but there are actually women in this game. A tiny handful of them, which are appropriate to 1998 video games. Um, Black-clad, sexy ninjas with big tits. Which is very in character for video games of 1998, but oddly out of character for a Half-Life. Even the earliest Half-Life. It's just very strange. Ha, you missed. Anyway, they have no lines, but they do backflips and they throw darts at you. Uh, it's this weird, it's this weird, again, it's kind of, Half-Life was slowly becoming what Half-Life was going to be and what like smarter games would eventually become. But at the time, it still had all of these fascinating holdovers from, you know, the era of, you know, blood-soaked, uh, blood, blood-soaked titty games. Of course, um, blood blood-soaked titty game five was my absolute favourite shooter growing up. Or do you? Make sure you don't. Oh. Yep, this is it. That guy got titty ninjured. Maybe this is a place. Maybe this is the time to start dropping trip mines all over. If ever there was one. By the way, this has a scope. I didn't mention it before, but woo! In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Very satisfying. So we need to be very careful now as we attempt to murder as many of these people as possible before they see us. Because this is probably the only time in the game you're actually, like, hunted. Hunted? Ow, shit, fuck. This, this isn't working. Where are my explosives? A phrase Gordon Freeman finds himself saying a lot today. At least they- oh, I got two of them. <laughs> Well, in the end, when our skull is bifurcated and has most of the skin stripped off it, we all really- Ow, oh, shit, fuck. We all really do kind of look the same, huh? I- Really, they should not be interrupting my philosophical moment. I was having- I was having a- Some kind of a feeling about something. 
Nice to see that they're not really any better with grenades than the other guys, though. I guess they're not that titty. Like, in terms of exploitative designs, they were very forward-looking for 1998. It's remarkable how unsexualized these designs are. However, it is also vaguely misogynistic that the only female characters in... Um, the only female characters in this original Half-Life are these, um... You know, the Spec Ops Ninja Babes, like... Why is it always Spec Ops Ninja Babes? You never get frontliners, is what I'm saying. But yeah, no, I completely agree that the sniper rifle in this game being a uh, a crossbow is delightful. As I said, it is the, the like, second best kind of firearm in video games. All pistols are great. All crossbows are also great. Really, the only additional thing this game needs is a set of throwing knives. That would really complete it. In fact, there were a lot of... Half-Life modding has always been a major, major scene. It's been one of the biggest and longest-lived modding scenes in, in games. There are there are a lot of big and long-lived modding scenes because gaming is delightfully user-led in its in its creative, um, you know, fandoms and so on. And um, I believe one of them is is a popular a popular uh, like multiplayer mod for this game that adds just a shit ton of stupid weapons, like the banana bomb from Worms, which is also one of the best weapons in games, and I think, I think that adds throwing knives. Unfortunately, I never really played multiplayer games growing up. I, I didn't know how to make internet games work, and I suffered from severe, um, severe anxiety and also severe social disorders for a very long time. Which meant that I never really had friends, and I also never really played video games online, because, you know... It's terrifying. Absolutely. Or it was then, at any rate. So I kind of missed out on that whole era. I was exactly the right age to be one of these ridiculous games journos talking about how they had, um... You know... Have the, how they have fond memories of playing, you know... Qu Quake 2 bunny hopping maps with their friends, and like writing endless teary op-eds for Edge magazine about the loss of uh, server culture and so on, which I'm so I sound very dismissive right now, but like, it's fine. It's all good. It's, it's, oh, okay. Are we, there we go. Actually, Halo was probably the only multiplayer game I got into as a teenager. Um, but I never, like, I didn't make any friends because I would never talk. I would just, um, silently get headshotted over and over again. I mostly played with my brothers, but there was... Uh, I did play a lot of, like... Oh, okay, I know. <gasps> oh, no! Nice hit. So I believe this is the origin of this as well. I love the <laughs> I love the I love the tremor in the guy on the left's voice as he says that. I've never heard anyone so desperately eager to kill me before. He's like, can, can we kill him now? Oh, I really want to kill him now. Ooh, I love murder. Which I guess is probably how Gordon sounded for most of this game so far. <laughs> ah shit, fuck, this might be my death. Yep. I got clipped between a box and a hard place. So this should be pretty easy to escape, but I'm really bad at remembering to crouch jump at the right times. Uh, nope, we're fine. It's, uh, well, I, I mean, I did die once, but what's one death between friends? You can even scurry across the top, but I think if I stand on that while it's moving, it might just kill me anyway. Yeah, that's video games, I guess. That is indeed video games. So, I might be mistaken about this, but I believe... I believe that this is the first occurrence in video games of the iconic get um, get gun stocked and then uh, black out and then wake up with none of your weapons. It is an absolutely ubiquitous trope. It's done in everything. All games do this. But as I said previously on previous streams, Half-Life was the origin of, like, pretty much the origin of the idea of the, the scripted, um, the scripted set piece. In, in games, really, and it's the origin of tons of these storytelling tropes that, are, that have been used for 
you know, decades since. And, um, I don't know, how the hell do I get out of here? And uh, I believe that it is genuinely the reason why the most single most dangerous thing to the protagonist of a video game is um, is, is the stock of a, of a rifle. Like, I mean, I get that Gordon Freeman isn't wearing a helmet, but nothing else can stop me. Oh, can I control them? Haha, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that's insane. That doesn't make any sense. Literally, that's completely incomprehensible. Why am I able to do this? Why do I have control of this thing? And also, it does not... Oh, ah? Okay. There we go. I have to hit it a few times to make it work. That's kind of weird. Like, how is Gordon able to do that, you know? There's no... There's not controls on it. I'm not... There's no buttons. Is this Gordon using the power of his mind for the first time? Because he's been using the power of firearms all day, frankly. The HV suit has Wi-Fi hacking and this is the only Internet of Things device in the entire place. Some middle manager somewhere was like, oh, we've really got to get in on this, right? And everybody else was like, are you sure? That sounds fucking stupid. Well, that's nothing. Is that one breakable? I could just keep hammering forever. I do love to be in a box. I do love to be enclosed in a tight space with no ability for me to escape it. Sure doesn't make me feel enclosed or entrapped or anything. I do love I do love the classic Half-Life smacky sounds, the classic uh kapang kapang kapong kapong that we all, we all we all know and love from Half-Life and all of its many derivatives, but I do think I would like to leave now, ladies and gentlemen. I do think that old Gordon has had enough. Has had quite enough. Oh, for fuck, oh, for, for fuck's sake. Okay, so I didn't even need to use the controls on these things. Why do they exist? <laughs> That's bizarre, but also kind of hilarious. You know what? Perseverance. I should have just kept hammering on this thing. I was a fool to not. It absolutely is inscrutable. That's a good word for it. And if you like inscrutable things, you should check out my missed Let's Play on YouTube, which is going up uh, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the moment. But actually, you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Let's stop here. My throat's starting to get a little bit sore, and I have been having a tough day, so I'm going to call it here tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this stream as I repeatedly murder myself on accident and several other people on purpose. No accidental murders of other people today, though. Uh, if you're watching and you don't already know, I have a YouTube channel where I do in-depth Let's Plays. You should go check that out. You should follow me here. You should follow me there. You should be cool and remain my good, good internet buddies. Because, you know, let's let's inculcate a few... Uh... I, my mind's gone completely blank and I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to my Patreon backers. Everything is cool. Let's pick this up again on Monday.